All right, let's practice multiplication by 10. Multiply the following two numbers. Here, you'll only deal with multiplication by 10. So really, that's like counting by tens. So if I have three times 10, let's say that each one of these rods that I'm drawing represents 10, okay? So we're gonna count by 10 every time I am at a rod. So 10, 20, 30. So three times 10 equals 30. Next one. Multiply these two numbers. Again, you're only dealing with tens. So what is one times 10? Well, I only need one rod and that is 10. You can also remember that any number times one equals that other number. So one times 10 equals 10. Good job. Next, we have five times 10. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the rods although you might be able just to look at it and answer, and that's great too. So if I have five times 10, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So five times 10 equals 50. But here's another way, because if you don't wanna draw pictures, you don't have to. We can use basic facts, okay? Basic facts are awesome. So watch what I do. I'm going to ignore the zero for now, and I'm just going to do five times one. What is five times one? Five. Now, how many zeros are in the problem? Just one. So I'm going to bring it over here, and I can see my product is still 50. Next, we're doing 10 times three. Again, I can draw three sticks and count by tens, or I can use my shortcut. I can do one times three, which is what? Three. And then how many zeros are in the problem? Just one. I bring it over. So 10 times three equals 30. Next one, four times 10. What's my basic fact? Four times one. What is four times one? Four. How many zeros are in the problem? Just one. So I bring it over. Think of that zero as a little brother or little sister that likes to follow their big brother around. Okay, you gotta bring them along. You can't leave them alone. So four times 10 equals 40. Next one, we have six times 10. Let's do our basic fact. Six times one equals six. How many zeros are in my problem? Just one. Bring them along for the ride. So six times 10 equals 60. Next one, zero times 10. Ooh, here's a fancy number here. What is our rule whenever we multiply by zero? Any number times zero equals zero. Even if you multiplied 2,547,213,107 times zero, your answer, your product will still be zero. 10 times, what is it? Zero. What is my answer? Zero. Good job, don't get fooled with zeros. Okay, how about three times 10? Okay, let's use our scratch pad. Basic fact, three times one equals three. How many zeros are in this multiplication problem? Just one bring it over. So three times 10 equals 30. And let's do one more. Four times 10. Basic fact, four and one. Four times one equals four. 
How many zeros do we need to bring along for the ride? Just one. So four times 10 equals 40. Great job multiplying by 10.